In this video, we'll be covering data analysis and statistics in CFX Maestro software. CFX Maestro has multiple ways to analyze your data, providing flexibility. Much of this analysis is done automatically. The software is designed to perform in-depth calculations quickly and with as few clicks as possible. Here, we'll be looking at the results from a run containing three different genes with three standard curves. The first thing we see are standard amplification traces. These can either be displayed in linear scale or, by clicking here, in log scale. Notice also that when the mouse is hovered over any trace, the corresponding well, seen below, is also highlighted, as is the corresponding CQ value in the table in the lower right corner of the screen. CFX Maestro also automatically sets a baseline threshold for each gene of interest to calculate CQ values. We can adjust any baseline manually by clicking and dragging it up or down to change the threshold. This run has a standard curve for each gene of interest, and we can see these standard curves in the upper right corner with the reaction efficiency for each curve also easily viewable. Once again, we can mouse over any point and the corresponding well is highlighted. It's also possible to view quantification data, as well as a melt curve, and melt curve data if a melt step was included in the runs protocol. We can also view gene expression data, including normalized expression data, which we'll come back to later, endpoint data, a custom data view, which can be a nice way to view a significant amount of data all in one screen, QC data, and run information. Let's take a look at QC data. Our QC data gives us a good way to check on certain parameters in our results. We can adjust these parameters or use the default setting. Here we can see two potential issues with our run. First, we can see that the efficiency of actin is less than 90. Going back to our quantification data and our standard curve, we see that actin efficiency is only 88.2%. Ideally, we want efficiencies to be between 90 and 110%, so this might be an issue with our run. We can also see that some samples have replicate group CQ standard deviations of greater than 0.2. If we decide that we'd like to exclude this data from our analysis, we can easily do so by clicking the Exclude Wells from Analysis button. These wells have now been grayed out on the plate map and will not be used in calculations. If we want to choose to include them again, we can either uncheck the box or we can right-click on any individual well and then select Include an Analysis. Next, we'll look at ways to perform gene expression analysis. One thing to note is that you can perform gene expression analysis on a single plate, or you can analyze multiple plates at once to look at your data in aggregate. Right now, we'll look at data analysis on a study with two plate runs comparing cancer cells to normal cells. When we click on the Study Analysis tab along the top row, we immediately see that our data from the run has already been analyzed. On the bar chart, we can see relative normalized expression levels of all genes in the study grouped by biological group, cancer versus normal. This allows us to very quickly compare the results from the cancer cells versus the normal cells and determine what genes, if any, have been upregulated or downregulated. On the right side of the screen are several menu options with different ways to analyze the data. This includes the choice of Delta Delta CQ Normalized Expression or Delta CQ Relative Quantity. We also have the option to graph results by biological group or by individual sample and to choose the control we want to use. Here, our current control is normal cells, but we could also choose no control or set the cancer biological group as the control. CFX Maestro also will automatically perform t-tests to generate p-values to compare biological groups. Please note that p-values are only calculated when analyzing by biological group. We can also easily annotate our graph with results below a set p-value threshold, 0.05 for instance. 
To do so, set the p-value threshold and click Annotate p-values. Any biological group with a p-value below the threshold will have an asterisk on the graph, which we can see for the genes AMACR and ERG. An important function in analysis to be aware of is the Experiment Settings button. Clicking here opens up some useful options, including the ability to adjust efficiency levels for an experiment by double-clicking and then manually entering the efficiency percentage. Additionally, if a standard curve is present for any gene, the efficiency results from that curve will be shown here and can be incorporated automatically in gene expression calculations. We also have the ability to select any gene as a reference gene and we can choose to show or hide any gene from our graph. We'll deselect AMACR and ERG, and then we can see they no longer appear on our bar chart results. Let's go ahead and reselect them. To zoom in on data, click and hold the mouse button, then drag over an area. The chart view will zoom in on that data. To zoom out, Right-click, then select Set Scale to Default, and click Show All. CFX Maestro also has multiple ways to view data and results. The default view is the bar chart view. We can also view data in box and whisker format, which shows data quartiles and any outliers. We can view data in dot plot format, which shows the average CQ values for each sample as a single data point. Clustergrams group data by expression level, with lower expression in green and higher expression in red. The scatterplot function will plot target expression results of one sample versus another, and the volcano plot will show target expression levels of one biological group versus another, with a p-value threshold included. These can be very useful tools for screening genes of interest for further analysis. The final feature we'll explore in this tutorial is the Analysis of Variance, or ANOVA feature. CFX Maestro has the ability to perform the statistical calculation with just a single mouse click. ANOVA is most useful when there are three or more biological groups in a study, and it allows us to see whether there is a significant difference in expression level between biological groups for every gene in the study at once. To perform an ANOVA, we first click on the ANOVA icon. Then choose the p-value threshold, the default is 0.05, and then click to calculate. Once the calculations are done, we can view the ANOVA results for each of the genes in our study. And we also have the ability to export the R script if we want to perform further analysis in R or another dedicated statistical tool. We've now completed the overview of data analysis and statistics in CFX Maestro. We hope you found this video to be helpful and wish you success in your qPCR experiments.